looks like we've got a problem with the turbine. The power went off last night and um, there's nothing coming in at all from the turbine. It's stopped totally. I'll put some tools together and we'll go and have a look see what's going on. Alright, the fact that there's no power coming in at all makes me think it's a, a blowout or the pipe has come apart or something. So I'll take all the tools I'll need to fix that. When I originally put the pipes together, uh, I made my own clamps and some of them are getting a bit rusty and falling apart, but um, I've got a few spears now, so I'll take those. A file, because I have to cut a pipe and smooth out the uh, rough edges. And I'll take some bearings as well, just in case they have worn out. It's possible that uh, bearing failure has just stopped the turbine spinning, so I've got all the tools I need down there to put those in. What else am I going to need? Side cutters, vice grips, screwdrivers, some rope in case I need to tie the pipes up, and pocket knife. Alright, I think that's about all I'll need. Let's go and have a look, see what's going on. Plenty of water in the stream. That's the intake down there. It's got a few leaves on it, but not too bad. No problems there, and I can see that water's going into the holes. So there's probably a break in the pipe down there somewhere. Oh, yep, pipes come apart down there. Should be a pretty easy fix. Ah, so it's just a matter of putting that back on. Crush all that rubbish out of there. Seems to have uh, lost some length from the pipe. I think there's a bit more going on here. That should pull up, but it's, it's like the whole pipe has been pulled that way, so I think we've got problems further down. Ooh. It's a bit of a mess. That tree there looks rotten and Looks like it's come away, which has pulled the rocks down with it. We'll have to replace that section. We'll have to watch that uh, no more rocks fall down on me though. Looks like there's a, there's a loose one up there. Let's we'll see what we've got further around here. Okay, so that's just pulled out of there. Luckily I've got a few spare pipes handy.
all the pressure builds up. No leaks. Clean up this intake while I'm up here. Get all the leaves out. It's kind of self-cleaning to a certain extent, the way I do it here. Um, just the leaves kind of just flow over it and around it usually. It's just sometimes if we get a big flood, we can get a bit of gravel covering it. But, um, usually I just end up cleaning it sort of once a year. So we'll go and check that turbine now. Looks like we're back in action. Nice. Right, I'm back up to 450 watts nearly. Once all the air is out of the pipe, that'll get back to about probably 600 watts. So that's good, it's slowly coming up. And that's dumping into the hot water cylinder. Um, once the batteries are full, it, it dumps into the hot water and uh, heats the water in the house. So we're back in business. I can finally go and have my morning coffee. Oh, it's good to have power again.